Well, morning, everyone. Every time I come over to this coach house, yeah, I get the wow from it. I, as everyone knows, this is my favorite building. But lately when I go to get my windsurfing gear, I'm looking at the most horrible doors. The other sort we've painted up, I'll slowly pan round, look really nice. And then this one here, or well, these two here, just, yeah. So I keep putting it off, I keep putting it off, but today's the day. We've just, uh, we've crashed so much stuff in today. I just feel this is a bit of a relaxing job. So uh, we're gonna get the doors off today, get them on the uh, benches or the trellis. I actually was gonna give this job to Rob, but <laughs> you know, he's had enough of sanding. So uh, I think this is more a job for me, but uh, let's get underway. Well, typical English weather. I'm nowhere in France. Typical French weather. <laughs> Where's the sun gone? Oh, I tell you, we were saying that, weren't we, Rob? How yeah. bad this summer's been. It's been hard, hard. It doesn't matter. I think anywhere in the world, you know, as you in LA, yeah. you've got the most unreal conditions. So uh, anyhow, uh, back inside now. We I prefer doing everything outside, just fresh air, etc. Uh, but uh, we'll carry on and hopefully it'll clear up. So there's me saying Rob won't be sanding again. What's he doing sanding? <laughs> I think you love sanding, actually. I have no fingerprints left. <laughs> you, need, you need a manicure, I mean. Right, so one of the challenges we've got is with the tongue and groove, is the uh, where people are just paint and then they paint again, they paint again, it just builds up in there. If we can just get some of this flaky paint out, it'd be great. Now, we were using the sander, uh, but uh, Rob kindly bought Powell, well, what I call a dentist set. So I'm hoping there's probably one in there, Rob, in there. They're all, that will actually work. Yeah. Now that just looks scary. That's like something from Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. Oh. Open wide. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure if I like the look of them, but uh, I'm sure in one of those, we could probably just run that down through the tongue and groove. At La La Salle, this is the, this was the one I used in the, their salon. This was the key. That's key the tool, tool to have. Key tool. All right. So we'll try it here and then I've got all the picks and everything. So I can... Well, on that, on that bombshell, it's over to you then. Yeah, hey, let's give it a try. Well, Carol's been busy today uh, doing the uh, bonding, as you see. In fact, I think she's done every single one now, ready for me. Yes. So that means uh, I'll let that bond off, uh, go off, bond off. <laughs> and uh, once then she can get, uh, um, possibly tomorrow, I'll ask her, but I'm hoping it's in this heat especially. And then we can, oh, in fact, yeah, definitely, because she started this end, putting the top coat on, sand back, then, as I said, I can then get back in here, get the sconces on, get them earthed, and uh, hey presto, we're nearly there.
so plasterboard up as you can see uh, as i was explaining before we just box back so like the windows etc the v-lux <clears throat> and that's just all drywall screws just straight uh, about into the alley system framework that you saw hanging down and then now we all do unlike in england where we would just skim this um they just literally do just tape and join uh, tape and then literally um, plus are just straight over, just skim over the tape um, and leave the rest of the board ready for painting. A lot quicker, so much easier actually. I'm uh, surprised why even we sometimes do actually skim it. Horrible job, but, uh, and no, I'm not a plaster. I cannot do it. I've, my friends let me have a go at it before and uh, as far as I'm concerned, plasterers are very talented boys and girls. So, yes. But yeah, on to the next thing. So uh, as explained, there is, so uh, the banding, there's tape, and then we just literally just skim over that. Nice and flush with the plasterboard. And that's good to go, ready for painting. Uh, makes life a lot easier. And just for anyone who's actually curious to know what we're using when we do the tape and joint, as you see there, that is what we use uh, from pretty much most of the, uh, uh, Brico Departments. Right, well that's all the plasterboard in, tape and jointed. What a difference that makes. So this, this ceiling, as you probably, well you may remember, was a bit holy and bits missing here and there. Now completely enclosed, insulation up there, both sides of the joist, and uh, same case scenario in this bedroom. In fact, they're all the bedrooms. So really, all it needs now is painting and a little bit of a <laughs> Carol's magic, but um, for the moment, no rush. We've got so much going on still downstairs, still finishing off the hallway, as you know. But uh, yeah, what a difference that's made. Just getting that in, uh, part in there. Uh, the only thing I probably might do actually is just put a trap on there. There is a trap, as you see anyhow, on the door up there. I think it might look nicer if I just put a plastic trap just on the face. Uh, it'll look nicer in here. And uh, window or box as shown. I'll come over so it's all nice and neat. And uh, yeah, that should make, this should make a big difference. Not just to the heating up here, but the, as I was saying, getting this R factor much, much better, which now it should. So poor old Rob has been thrown over at the coach house to work. Not even allowed in the chateau. So Carol's given him a bit of a challenge. Well, not really a challenge, is it, Rob? Just another challenge. Just, uh, just ask me. It's his last day today, and Carol said, "Look, you're not having rest. I've got another job for you." Sand this chair. Sand the chair. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting there. But she won't let you paint it. Hmm? She won't let you paint it. No, no. Not a I chance. Want, nor would I want to. No, I wouldn't either, actually. Yeah. I just right. want to get it really smooth for her and so. Yeah, and then we can match it in with the other one. Match the other one, yeah. Well, on that, I'll leave it with you. All right.
<laughs> so, the chair's finished. Chair is finished. Sanding. Sanded and ready to be painted. Let's see your work then. Oh. I need to get all the paint off, but I got everything sanded so that's very smooth. All nice and smooth, all prepared, no tacks. Yeah. All ready for some painting. And this type of thing, we'll give it, once it's got the new paint on it, we'll give it a little bit of age. So, and then we just look like that. And then it will look like that after two coats of paint. And then I can get to upholster it mm -hmm. before we put some gold details on these trims here and on the arms and legs too. So thank you very much, awesome. Rob. You're very welcome. You did a marvellous job of that. Saved me hours of work. It's been my pleasure. Meaning I can get on with something else. Yes. Brilliant, it's thank one, you. One last thing for you to do. Well, the sun is out and it's glorious. And Rob's got his half moon out. Hello. Well, that doesn't sound very good, does it? No. <laughs> Here's my half moon. I haven't done this since I was a teenager. I can tell. No, I was joking. <laughs> because the blocks are off. No, nah, they're all over the place. In fact, actually, I remember there was nothing there when we moved in. We actually popped them down just to give it a bit of a feature, if you like, between the plant pots. Actually, that's going to be back how we originally did it. And you strimmed the uh, bank as well, good. Yeah. So, yeah, excellent. Oh, dear. So all we got to do now is get Carol back to painting and then get those doors back up and running. And before we know it, your time will be done here. Oh boy. Can you just pop the invoice in the post though? Because uh, I've got no money with me today. <laughs> today we've got the last product we need uh, for the insulation. It's this uh, Tetris Super 8. Um, these walls need to go downstairs in the cellar so we put them on the roof of the cellar and it's just a foil which will uh, prevent obviously or reflect the cold air coming up into the first floor uh, so we'll get them down get them stapled up and uh, i'll show you how it looks well just to show you an off cut here um what the product is so it's just a mixture of foil and then you get the uh the cotton wool if you like there, then another piece of foil, then cotton wool, all the way through, and you get all the eight layers there. And that's just to reflect the heat, and that's that's what they use uh, for down below the first floor, so in the uh, cellar itself. Very light product, very easy to work with. Uh, and as you see, it's just a matter of stapling it up to my marine ply that I'd already put up there, apart from one of the rooms, but then you would just staple it to the joists, and then just literally trim along either with a bread knife or with a pair of scissors. So that's done completely all the way through. And that should, and again, make a big difference downstairs, or not downstairs, sorry, in the floor above me, which is the dining room, the salon, etc., temporary kitchen, that sort of thing. Uh, this room as well. I did start doing the Hall, the underneath of the hallway and ran out but of course now if I come round here completely finished so yes very pleased there uh, obviously a little while before we see the uh, the rewards of that which will be when the uh, clearly when the temperatures start dropping towards Christmas or just after um, but not only that it tidies it up as well it looks a lot nicer now Oh, she's painting our doors. Made a jump. <laughs> I like sneaking up on you, darling. Oh, you've already painted one. Two. Three times a lady. This is number three. I was a bit concerned about I was running out of. Ooh, scraping the barrel, as they say. <laughs> no, there's enough. Is there? But those doors were really smooth and they'd come up really well. Yes. They actually like new those ones, but these. Because they're really old, they're really sucking the paint up. Yeah, they, those doors you're doing them now are definitely older than those ones over there. And we knew that when we picked them up, took the, the weight of them. They're nearly double the weight, actually. What, the old ones? The ones you were on now are so much heavier. It's because they don't make things like they used to. Yeah, they don't. I'll go along with that one as well. Ah, so have you got enough paint, you think, to do another I've door? Enough, I've got enough to finish. 
Okay, in that case, I will leave it with you. And then... Oh, there's more. It's two coats of my favourite colour. Something white. Actually, my favourite paint. Um, Shaded... I haven't used it for so long. Faded White by Faro and Bull. Faded, not shady. All oh, right. Shaded, that's it. Oh, even I know more than you. Ha <laughs> ha. Shady white, so it will end up looking like the front doors on the garage. lovely day it is today and what makes it even better I get to look out my bedroom window and I can see the work that Rob's done down there on the paving slabs great job with your half moon it's a shame you had to go back really isn't it but uh, you never know we might be able to pinch you back again but all I can say is I hope everyone has a great week and uh, we'll catch up with some more jobs soon